okay, you're going to you're going to realize you're going to realize that people compete when they cannot connect. So if you have a passion in which you do and you recognize that, you know, people are not acknowledging you for who you are, what is happening is you're you're leveling up. You're going to another dim- area. You're going into another level, something you are unaware of because you're just growing, okay? But then you have people on the sideline. You have the onlookers looking at you. And, you know, that really makes them feel some kind of way. So when they feel that type of way, how do you respond to that? That's the question. You know, I had a woman in I met many years ago. And her approach to helping me resolve moving out of one level and into another was to, in my physical realm, it seemed as though she was trying to destroy me. But what the reality was, it was that she was trying to come to show me what was done to her and why she used the quote, keep it moving, keep it moving because as you elevate, people are going to fall off. People are going to drop off. You're going to feel alone. And in this state of success, in this state of being, you're going to find that people are not going to be con- congratulatory to you because they're either looking at the fact that uh, they don't even know what you're doing. Number two, they don't recognize it because it's not them. Number three, They could care less because they can't do it because it looks like too much work. And number four, they're just not as passionate as you. So I want you to hold on to that. Welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit pre-recorded podcast, episode 83. Today is November the 18th, 2023. And this is a wonderful time. This is a pre-record. This is a conversation that I think we should communicate on relative to success. And I hope you enjoy it. So let's get back to it. I think that what you're going through is an experience that only you know, because no one can compare to what your passion is. Your passion is unique. And when you have a unique passion, people are going to try to either rise to the occasion and take what they have and move it to better themselves at quicker. And they're missing all of the learning lessons. See, you started from the ground and you build yourself to the level that you are at right now. So number one, be very, very grateful for that. You know, let me tell you, um, sometimes it is hard to be educated in this world. It is hard to be passionate in this world. It is hard to be focused and super, you know, uh, intuitive and, and discerning in this world because most people will try to dumb you down, water you down, or ignore you. So what we do in that situation is we recognize what our goals are. You know, keep doing the work. That's the most important thing. Don't pay attention to what's going on around you if it does not include you. Keep working on your passion and put positive things in your mind. When people try to sit back and tell you, uh, oh, it can be done or you know, uh, whatever it is, and then you're doing it and you're multitasking and you're elevating yourself, Um, you're setting goals for you, you're making sure that in these goals, you're, you're trying to do your very ultimate best. It's not about competing to something that is passionate within you. So, you know, that's not even a situation in your mind, but in their mind, they're looking at you and they're saying to themselves, oh, Let me see if I can take that shine. You know, let me tell you about my certification. I believe that anyone and everyone can be an entrepreneur, a leader, 
an investor. You know, the mom and pops back in the day, we talked about Black Wall Street. Those people didn't have educational degrees. They had a passion and a skill and a set that they used on a regular basis and became great at it. Someone told me that if you do something 200 million to- or 200,000 times, you become an expert in that field. So you don't have to go to school to get the certificate. Yes, it's good to have. To me, I feel as a doctor um, in the field of leadership, I feel that it wasn't all necessary to have all that. (laughs) I just started after so many years and I graduated in 2012. You know, 2012, I, I just now began to put my certification up on the board. Why? Because I needed people to understand the journey because that part of my life is completed. So when someone comes to me for, you know, business development or someone comes to me for the specific advice, I'm not going to give them what an alcoholic is able to give to someone for advice. You go to an alcoholic for advice, what's the thing that they're going to give you? alcohol, because that's all they know. But in that alcohol, one thing, going back to the lady that um, I thought was trying to destroy me when she was pushing me out of my level and making me level up, showing me what other people had done to her. What took place is the growth the growth and it's uncomfortable. And that's why most people just give up because what she did was show me what others did to her. Oh, you can't make that. You can't do that. Uh, who do you think you are? She probably had a narcissistic husband, but in that alcoholic stupor, you know what she taught me? She taught me to keep it moving. And JB, (laughs) 2011. Thank you. Thank you for helping me to keep it moving because it is lonely. It is lonely in the world of success when you are surrounding yourself or trying to surround yourself with great people. Then you realize, oh, where's everybody at? You know, who's going to take the time to collaborate and come into an a agreement with me without the fear of having them look like me. They're not as unique anymore. So a lot of people tend to shy away from those things that is competitive, but they try to compete. Does that make sense? So what I want you to understand right now, okay, What I want you to understand right now is that you're going through a transitional elevation of leveling up. That's what you're doing. And of course, it's going to happen for you. Of course, you're going to make it through. Of course, you're going to be the phenomenal expectation of what it is you want to do. And no one's going to stop you from doing that. No one at all. No one's going to stop you. So keep your head up. Put them shoes on that you rocking (laughs) and make it happen. Walk out there with your head high. Journey to the future. That's what you do. You're journeying in the present moment and you're going to see your future self. You're going to meet him. You're going to meet her. So again, credentials, yes, does not make one better than another. It just doesn't. What it does is it gives that independent person the confidence to say that I did this. I have something in the Rolodex that I can look back to when times are hard and I'm not being given the accolade and the gold star. They stop giving gold stars after first grade. They don't give them in college. They don't give gold stars in high school. They don't even give gold stars in junior high school. Why? Because the gold star is within you. You are the star. So if you don't push yourself and elevate yourself, then what's going to happen is you're not going to see the gold stars. And then you're going to dumb yourself down. You're going to water your 
self down to where others are okay. But why should another be okay when you know you can do more, when you know you can have more, when you know you can push yourself a little bit further? And it's not about putting you out there as the only one that's doing this or that. No, because everyone, if they're minding their own business, they're going to see the collaboration and the effort of success. They're not going to see, oh, this person is doing that or this person is trying to shine brighter than the other. No, you're just shining. And you can't help it that no one else around you is shining. You know what I'm saying? There's many stars in the sky. And it's up to you as the individual to continue to put forth your shine, to effort that up, to, to do one up more every single day. Educate yourself. Learn more about the walk and the journey that you're in. Don't just sit back. You know, a lot of people sit back and think because they got an LLC or uh, a sole proprietor or whatever that they have something. It's just like the degree that sits on the mantelpiece. If you don't get up and do something with that piece of paper, it becomes dusty, old, outdated. Look at the fact. Again, I graduated in 2012. So in graduating that far away, if I didn't continue to put myself into my own college, because like I said, after graduating in 2018, 19, with a doctorate in leadership, the experience of the dissertation taught me that if I don't elevate myself after this degree, there are no more courses that I can take to become an expert in the field that I'm in. It stops at doctorate level. For the acclimation of education itself. But when you are an educator, when you are a leader, you continue to elevate every day from that point and your experiences, the people you connect to, the things that you link to. And this is going to in turn validate your aftercare of education. You know, going to get those certifications that you could take online to build your stamina, to build your strength. But if you're still stuck where you were when you got that degree, when you got that LLC, when you got that uh, whatever the state of, a, a, you know, whatever your state allows you to do with what you have, then that's as far as you're going. Don't be angry at another person because of the fact that you stopped growing. And that is when another person competes but can't compare. They try to dumb you down because they stopped. You know, this lady who I felt was trying to destroy my life at one point that helped me elevate to see that I had to go beyond where she was at because she was stuck there because she allowed people to dumb her down. She allowed the, the essence of life and the physical dimensions of chaos to control and consume her. So when I came to her at a time of my most emotional point in life and she gave me what she gave me, one thing, and everything balances in this life, so I need you to remember that too. One thing that she gave me also was to keep it moving. And that was the most profound, educa ed educated quote that I've ever experienced in my life. Keep it moving. Because without keeping it moving, you're going to become like me. And I stopped moving. That's what she told me. I stopped moving. And when she stopped moving, she gave up. And when you give up, you just die out. So please, please don't worry about these haters. 
You know, a lot of people will tell you, yeah, they'll hate on you. They'll do this. They'll tell you what they'll do to get you interested in recognition, recognizing that this stuff is happening. So you're not crazy. You're not paranoid. You're not schizophrenic. What is happening is you're leveling up. And when you level up, you somehow or another, it's just like giving birth. When you give birth, you're going to see that physical essence, no matter if you want to or not. You know you brought something to this planet. When that happens, best believe and know for certain that these things are going to come to fruition for you. And these haters and whatever they can say, do and, and do whatever, but they're sidelined. They're sidelined. They're not stopping you from your focus forward on the path you're going. You may be intimidated. You may be distracted. They may say some things. They may throw some things in the path, but guess what? Honey, (laughs) recognize your greatness. Do that. And you'll always be a success. Now, does this make sense to you? Have I helped you in any way? Because I've been where you are. And I've been where you are in a, you know, a brand new vehicle, getting ready to move into a new brand new home, had money in the bank, had money in briefcases, had, you know, all the things that most people would feel would be a success. But at that given moment, at that particular moment in my life, I was the most loneliest, the most loneliest. And now I see that I can pull up in a 2008, I can pull up in a 1999, I can pull up in a 2027, and it ain't even came out yet. And it will be this, I can pull up in a bike, well, an electric bicycle. (laughs) I can pull up in anything I want to pull up in, but it's how I get out of that vehicle that makes me who I am. It's the shoes that I'm rocking when I step on the ground. It's the way that I swag when I walk. And that's what you have to realize today. And that's what I had to realize so many, so many years ago, that it is the potential that you hold within you that makes you great. And that's what people will try to take. So be mindful of that. Be real with yourself. Be consistent. Be on time. Be ready. Be prepared. Have your ink pen. Have your uh, uh, smartphone and your apps and all that you need to have in order to push you where you need to go. No, a website is not necessarily necessary. Because uh, you have Facebook, you have Instagram, you have things, apps that back in the day, uh, in 2008, 2009, I got my website and I put all my information out there. You got nothing but a bunch of robotic calls. You got nothing but a bunch of, you know, uh, filtered um, information because the internet was so new back then that uh, especially on websites and different things like that, they were just trying to sell themselves. So basically with Instagram, with TikTok, with uh, Snapchat, with Facebook, with Fiverr, with all the different apps that you have out there, you do not need to purchase a website in your first year of business because it's a waste of time. Unless you're promoting yourself and you're traveling all over the world, you're letting people know here is my business card, check this out and see what you think about this and give me a review. And then half the people, when they see what you're doing, they don't want to give reviews. When they scroll across it, you will get more likes and uh, internal messages from people you don't know than the people that already see the stuff you do. So be mindful of that and don't let that even affect you. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. (laughs) Yeah. And I'm on the good side of the keep it moving because the difference between me and this woman that I talk about in this podcast is that she gave up, you know, and she resorted to the easier route, doing nothing. 
um, because the people around her were not really doing anything. And until she met me, was she able to recognize, hey, I used to be like that. Hey, I used to do stuff like that. And it was possible. Wow, that was really possible. Oh, man, I gave up just a second right before it was going to turn over into something great. I gave up. And remember, I told you an alcoholic can only give you alcohol, but a healer, a leader, they're going to give you the advice that is mandatory and needed and necessary for your growth. See, I've also heard that, you know, our elders have failed us. Well, guess what? This elder is going to teach everything that she knew during the time of her younger years how I got to where I am. Not that I'm even where I want to be. No, absolutely not. I'm where I'm going. I'm journeying into my future in my present moment. I'm fully awake. I'm fully aware. I'm not following the breadcrumbs like Hansel and Gretel because the birds may come and eat the breadcrumbs and then I'll get lost if I need to come back. And this journey is not where I thought I was going. So at what point do I recognize, what point do you recognize that there is potential in your success? There is ultimate opportunity in everything you do if you don't give up, if you just keep doing the work. That's the most vital, important thing. So I thank you so much for being here. I thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and just listening. Even if you do nothing, thank you anyway, because that was a view. You heard it. You had to come here and you gave accolade just by listening. So I thank you so very much. You stay positive. You stay strong. You continue to be the best you can be rocking in the shoes you're wearing because you, you're you rocking it. You're doing a damn thing. Keep, keep Just keep it moving. Peace and we'll see you soon. Now I got to listen to that myself.